With me today is Nolot Letele, uh, Chairman and former CEO of MultiChoice. Nolot, welcome. Thank you. Tell me, what exciting things are happening in TV today? What's happening in the mobile space, you know, mm -hmm. with the mobile phone becoming your, your, your TV set uh, nowadays. Um, and that means in Africa it's, it's going to reach beyond what we've ever been able to do uh, on traditional television. Uh, so there's that. Um, interactive television came, you know, it wasn't a big deal in the end. I think there was a lot of hype and excitement around it. But now it's everybody just assumes. You don't even know that you're, 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 you're going through interactive television uh, because it's become part of you. But um, yeah, I, I think that uh, for me, it's the way that TV is now available on multiple devices. Mm. That's the exciting thing that's happening today. Is there a threat from um, TV on the internet? Oh, absolutely. Uh, a lot of people in the TV business will probably tell you, no, nah, no. Nah. But for me, the, the best analogy is, uh, we are talking about it earlier, if you take the railway lines, they never invented the motor car. Radio didn't invent television. And today, um, and TV didn't invent internet. Uh, and in a way, what you're talking about is, is internet, TV delivered by internet. Mm. It's, um, it, it is a, a threat. Uh, we're starting to see it today. Uh, and we realize that probably in 10 to 15 years time, we won't have a business unless we, we, we are already playing around in the internet space. Okay. Yeah. So what is multi-choice doing now in that space? Um, <laughs> well, if we had broadband, proper broadband in South Africa, I think we'd be quite a way down. In fact, mm. that threat would have, um, I think, hit us already. Mm. Uh, so in a way, we are fortunate um, that broadband is only starting to, to, to happen in South Africa. What are we doing? We, we have got um, sort of incubator pilots running, um, uh, providing content uh, online to uh, especially in gated communities. Mm -hmm. You probably didn't know this. Can mm -hmm. you elaborate on that? I wasn't aware of uh, multi-choice oh, okay. activities in this area. Yes. Um, it's a pilot that we, we're running mm -hmm. um, in two of these gated communities. It's really your complex that's closed off yes. uh, or closed in. And uh, we have servers. We have equipment at the, at the gate. Um, I call it the head end. We, uh, these uh, communities have fiber uh, that's run into each home. Mm. So it's really more practical to do it when the, the, the whole estate is being developed because at that point then you run the fiber into the home. And then uh, once you're in the home, you can receive pretty much everything uh, that normally comes separately. You know, your telephony, um, your CCTV images of uh, whoever's at the gate may be looking for you. Mm -hmm. um, so that's coming through. But you can also get television, conventional television, as well as uh, video on, on demand, which is your ability to actually order a movie. You don't okay. have to go to the video shop anymore. Oh. Um, so all of this is bundled into one thing, plus um, internet uh, connectivity. Right. So, so you that's, can that's like your triple play. It's your, mm -hmm. Yeah. Sort of t TV, internet, and telephony. Correct. Absolutely okay. that, okay. yeah. And of course, that way you have, you have broadband into the home. Sure. Um, it's a pilot um, to, to roll out across the country. Mm. It's big. It's too big for even just us. Um, uh, I think others uh, are, are, are playing around with similar concepts. And yeah, it's going to take time, but uh, this is the start. And the mobile phone, is this really realistic that it, this is going to be a mass market um, access to TV in Africa? I think it will it'll become a mass product in, in, in time. Uh, what needs to happen is that prices have to come down mm. uh, in Africa. And that's going to happen once there's more and more and more adoption. Uh, and as you know, Africa is the fastest growing mobile market in the world. And, um, you know, mobile uh, connectivity is exceeds, you know, uh, fixed line in by, by certain, you know, mm. several multiples. Now, Gibbs and MultiChoice are partnering on a digital media program. Mm. What do you see the main outcome of that partnership? Uh, I think it's wonderful, by the way, that it's happening. Uh, and we're very, very, very um, pleased that, you know, it's, it's Gibbs that we're partnering with. Look, 
I think that um, once the program really gets underway, uh, we're going to see uh, visiting lecturers. You know, uh, these are the thought leaders around the world, um, the experts in, the, in 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 this in this field, uh, and we can feed off that. Um, and I think that you'll find, uh, you know, this program is going to help the policymakers in in, mm -hmm. in South Africa and, of course, across the continent. And that can only bring, you know, wisdom. And with wisdom comes a better regulation. So what, in terms of regulation, what are the biggest challenges you see in South Africa or across the continent? We tend to regulate before we understand where the technology is going. Uh, and in doing that, we suppress um, innovation uh, and we, we suppress uh, development. So um, that is the biggest challenge. What needs to happen is, if you turn it on its head, is, is that um, we should be encouraging you know, people to experiment and play around. And then uh, we can then bring order to it by, by then regulating. <laughs>